only one place to start, Cal, though, with Leeds looking to bounce straight back in the Premier League. Earlier this week in breakfast, Big Sam told us it was a lack of goals that cost the club relegation last season. The trouble with the Premier League when I was there that short period was couldn't take and convert our chances. I mean, we had 21 attempts at goal against Tottenham and we got beat 4-1. We only had two three of those on target. So uh, that would have to change dramatically while in the Championship. But I wish them all the best. Fantastic club. Yeah. You know, enjoyed, well, didn't enjoy it that much, but enjoyed the day-to-day of, uh, of the five weeks I were there. Big Sam there talking about Leeds lack of goals. What do you think, Carl? Was that the case? Um, <laughs> that wasn't the only reason. <laughs> there was a, there was multiple reasons for why they got relegated, obviously. I think the thing for me was not too much the goals in the score. We conceded a lot as well. Before we went in there, they got beat five to Palace. Well, they were Liverpool, so open, weren't they? Bournemouth. Yeah, I did the Leicester game uh, for Sky, and I actually said I think they're, they're going to go down. Mm. On the day, they were so open, they were so disconnected. Um, what surprised me when they went how good the lads were. Really, for a, yeah. for a group of lads who were in a difficult situation, and actually a lovely group of lads who, who actually really cared. Yeah, Carl, and they've, they've had so many, well. had, had so many voices, so many different voices, Carl, in a short space of time. Them lads, yeah, well, you know, one minute it's Javi Gracia, then what? Then it's yeah, but it, the, the problem you have though is thinking, especially the modern day game as well. Managers come from the continent and they bring uh, an, an entourage. entourage of fifteen medical staff, sports scientists, analysts, and then that manager to sack them fifteen go. The next one comes in, he brings mm. in 12. He goes, it's the gaffer Sam came in, just brought me and Keno. Yeah. And actually he had the, the lads who've been there for years who knew the football club inside out. Mm. He put them in that position. So can they bounce straight back? They That's what do. fans are thinking do. about. I Good think start and away they go. The transfer window is massive for them because obviously <laughs> Sam said there about not scoring goals. Patrick was a was a catalyst from being promoted last time for the goals that he scored. Yep. Obviously, the back end of the season last year, he was carrying an injury. Rodrigo was outstanding for us when we were in there. Some player, by the way, but he was. He had a, remember that old plantar fascia issue? He had some weird injuries yes. as well. Why were they the yeah. ones that would come back? They missed him um, for a large part of it. If they get a good striker, yes. They've got some decent defenders. Cooper's come back fit now. Yep. The midfield's not bad. But again, they've sent a lot of players out on loan. Players that they probably should have kept if they were going to bounce well, back. Will they'll, go- they'll have them back now. Sorry, no, no, the, the, the players the players have gone out, like Raz has gone yeah. to Roma. Yeah. Um, Max Wobber has gone. There's some players or big players who have gone out on loan. Part of their contract was if they got relegated, they could mm. be loaned out. And I think that's going to play a key po- uh, role in them coming back up. Mm. And who is in charge of recruitment? There. Yeah. There's been that many people, and, and some of the stuff that's been going on hasn't been good enough. No. You've got some good people, really good people. Tyler yeah. Adams, good player. Good player. Good player. Really Cole. good player. Loads of energy. He got injured for us. He was um, he had a hamstring problem. He was about to come back and did it again. Right. But he, but again, he's another one. One of the American lads. He was there every day. Mm. I tell you what, you've got Luke Allen, you've got Liam Cooper, you've got Stuart Dallas, yeah, Patrick Bamford, just really good lads who've obviously been promoted with them, felt the pain of the relegation, and at, at the end of the game, um, against Tottenham, Liam Cooper stood up and just sort of everyone was down and, and a little bit obviously struggling with what just happened and he actually said a few words and I thought to myself, do you know what, there's a proper, I can you say proper man, but yeah. I, someone who, who literally said, if you don't want to be here next year, yeah. don't come back. Did he, did he? And yeah, I, I sort of looked at him and you could see there was a steediness in his eye yeah. that he was so determined to drag Leeds United That's back good. to the Premier League. Yeah, fantastic club, great support as well. So I, I'd love to see Leeds bounce back, but it's, it's not going to be easy. That's a tough league now, isn't Oof. it? It, as, as I and we've got the old East Anglian derby in Norwich as well oh, and Ipswich are improving all the time got that to look forward to but it is a the relentless it's nature relentless. of it Carl, it's relentless it? you're playing Saturday, Tuesday Saturday, Tuesday and the FA yeah. Cup comes along the Carabao Cup or whatever it's called now that comes along yeah. the games are just they're so unforgiving as well and they're mm. so unpredictable mm. because of how fast they are you just you can't predict many results